Risk Reserve. Look at this slide carefully. I have already explained you in Cost Management chapter about Control Account. Also, I did explain Work Package in Scope Management chapter. Nevertheless, let me give you a quick recap. Work packages are last level of classification in a work breakdown structure. That is to say, WBS. Below work packages, you only have activities in a WBS. Since managing cost at each work package level is quite inconvenient, generally more than one work packages are clubbed together to create a control account. Costs are managed at control account level. When I say cost is managed at control account level, it means how much was planned for work packages within that control account, how much is actually spent, and so on, are accounted for at that level. As you can see, first the cost of all activities add up to the cost of the work packages and work packages cost add up to the control account cost. There can be multiple control accounts in a project. Now, once the project cost is calculated, some reserve is added to take care of any uncertainties. Why this reserve is added? Because you might have made some assumption to calculate the cost of the activities and by adding some reserve, you can want to take care of the uncertainties. In this case, make a note that you are accounting for assumptions made and it can also be said that this reserve takes care of known uncertainties. This reserve is also called contingency reserve. Once the plan cost is arrived, there is another reserve gets added and that's called management reserve. Now, why is this needed? Well, by adding contingency reserve, you have taken care of known uncertainties and by adding management reserve, you take care of unknown uncertainties. But on what basis do you add unknown uncertainties? The answer is it's totally based on experience or what we also call in PMI language, expert judgment. 